All right, Shalom, Shalom to the elect of Yasha Allah. This is your brother Pawaria coming back at you with another quick lesson from Great Minister on Des Moines. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is, We Must Endure Until the End in Order to Be Saved. Because here it is, we have we we got these Christi these these this Christianity, these Christian black churches that's deceiving our people and thinking that they are saved. Here it is, you'll you'll hear them say, oh, I've been saved for fifteen years, twenty years. You know, what are you saved for? What what are you saved from? All right. Because it tells you in Jeremiah 8 and 20, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. We're not saved yet, man. How are you saved when uh, you still got to go through the hour of temptation that you read about in Revelations um, 3 and 10? In which that hour of temptation is that RFID chip that you can read about in Revelations 13 and 16. All right. You got to go through that. You got to go through Jeremiah uh, 30 and 7. Uh, Jacob's trouble. All right. Some of us might uh, be uh, cast into prison, like the scripture says, you know. So these are things that we have to endure because a lot of these things is going to cause people to lose their faith. All right. It's easy to have faith when everything is all sweet, man. All right. But when 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 shit get hard and, and, and our, our faith is being tested, are you going to keep that same energy and keep that same faith and endure to the end? All right. Because that's what it's all about, man. The Lord is coming back to uh for those that remain faithful until the end. He tells you, uh, Yahweh Shai said in Matthew 24 and 13, but he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. All right. Uh, it, it, uh, it's it's a scripture in um uh, in First Peter's, I want to say uh, four and seventeen, uh, that the elect pretty much is gonna scarcely be saved. All right, so we're gonna have to go through it to get to it, man. It ain't no gonna be no little easy walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? And, and you receive. And you re reap the, the the benefits, you know, the promise that the Lord promised unto us, man. Hey, it, it ain't it ain't he ain't gonna give it to us that easy, man. Uh, yeah, First Peter's is four and eighteen. All right, but I I read at verse seventeen. It says. For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And if it begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the most high power? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly be? Where shall the ungodly and the sinner, sinner appear? All right. So the righteous being the elect, man, is going to scarcely be saved, man. Meaning that, hey, it ain't going to be a walk in the park. All right. We're going to have to endure temptation. All right. Let's get this in James uh, 1 and 12. It says, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord have promised to them that love him. All right. We're going to be blessed if we endure the temptations that the Lord, that we must go through, that the Lord said that we have to go through, man. We got to go through that straight gate. All right. But we're going to be blessed and he's going to give us that promise. That he promised unto us, man. We hey, we just got to uh, constantly endure. All right. And, and 
when you go into that word endure in the etymon, it says to, to undergo or to suffer, especially without breaking. All right. So, hey, we when we undergo and have to go through the suffering that we got to go through, we cannot break, man, like a cheap lawn chair or something, man. We can't break at all. We have to endure. Endure also means to make hard, to be hardened, to be firm, solid, steadfast. All right. And when you look it up in the Strongs, it says to 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 persevere, to under um, to persevere under misfortunes and trials, to hold fast to one's faith in Yahweh, in Yahweh Shai, man. So we got to hold on to our faith in Yahweh Shai. Striving for the truth unto death and the Lord shall fight for us, like the scripture says, man. So we got to keep fighting, man. It, and a fight, it, it ain't, a fight is not easy, man. It, it, it's, we have to fight. All right, but the Lord has given us the tools that we need that we need to have victory to win this battle, to win this warfare that we uh that we in, man. All right, so all we have to do is just apply the 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 words that he's given unto us, man. All right, cuz the Lord said it's going to be days like that like this. And 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 the, and, the, and so we see that these things are uh manifesting themselves so we can't be surprised when these things come we can't be afraid when these things come because hey the lord told us to, hey he's been putting us in little small um uh trials and tribulations now man and these little things should build up our faith for the the big things that he's about to to do and perform in 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 those times man when he come and bring his divine intervention, intervention and save us from this, 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 this devil. All right. Um, let's get this in Sirach. Uh, I'll start from the top. Sirach two and one. It says, my son, if thou, Come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Right now, we should be preparing ourselves uh, for the temptation that's about to come. And this is all spiritually, man. We should be preparing ourselves spiritually. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. All right. Hey, so we had to constantly endure, man, the times of trouble jacob's trouble come we have to a hey, hold fast to yahweh by shim yahweh shah verse three, three it says cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at that last end all right so hey once again we have to endure to the end all right yeah it's a lot of Stuff we're going to have to go through, man. We're going to have to go through persecution. Um, the elder brother in, in um, L.A., um, Barack Allah, he, uh, he did a, a testimony uh, to uh, Apostle, uh, Apostle Ramla did one. And you got brothers doing testimonies, man. Hey, but hey, we're going to have to. These should be faith boosters as well. But we're going to have to go through. Uh, these tribulations, man. Yahweh Shai had to go through it. He was hated. So how much more us? You know, the scripture says, hey, the Lord, they, they hated the Lord, man. So you think they're not going to hate us? For, for, for all we're doing is, is telling the truth. We're messengers of, of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, but they're going to hate us because we're speaking the truth. And this world can't handle the truth. All right. But. uh, Let's get this in Matthews. This is Matthews 10 and 22. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking as well. 
And he says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. <laughs> so we're going to be hated, man, for, for, the, for, for the Lord's name's sake. Yahweh Shai. Us, you know, defending the gospel. Us, you know, fighting for the name, the true name. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? We're going to be hated, man. You know, everybody loves sweet Jesus, man. <laughs> you know, his soft ass, you know. But, hey, the name of Yahweh Shai is dreadful uh, amongst these heathens, man. All right. Uh, reading on, it says, but he that endure to the end shall be saved. All right. So once again, man, we have to endure until the end. Okay. This is second address. 13. And verse 23, it says, he that shall endure the pearls in that time have kept himself. They that be fallen into danger, danger are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty. All right, it says, let me read that again. He that shall endure the pearls in that time have kept himself. They that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith towards the Almighty. Know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead. All right. And this was a vision that Ezra seen um, of Yahweh shot destroying all these, um, the, all the armies of this world, man, in the midst of uh, World War Three. All right. You know, so, hey, it was those that was blessed that, hey, that was that was left behind and not dead, man. It's going to be a lot of dead bodies. The scripture says that the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay. So it's going to be a lot of dead, dead bodies, man. When the Lord come, man. All right. But we want to be blessed. We want to be the ones that, uh, um, uh, that endure the ones that the Lord find fit to, to, to keep, you know, Keep him, man, and, and save them in the, in the, in those times. All right. Uh, yeah. That, let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll get a couple of more. The point been made. You know, it's all about endurance, man. Being made hard, not soft. Lord ain't coming back for softies, weaklies, weaklings. Those that are strong, he's coming back for uh, soldiers, man. And we got to endure these things like a soldier. Uh, let's get this. And let's get this in Second Thessalonians. Yeah. And we just uh, we're gonna read verse Second Thessalonians one and four. It says, "So that we ourselves." So I, it says, "So that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of the Most High Power." For your patience and faith in all your persecution and tribulations that ye endure. And just bringing that out that um, just to, to tell you and show you that that we must endure through uh, with our faith, endure all the persecutions and the tribulations that we're going to have to go through. We have to endure those things so that we can uh Receive that promise. All right. 
Let's get uh, Revelations 2 and 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Showing you that we are going to have to go through some suffering. All right. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. We might have to go to jail. We might be beheaded. You know, this devil is going to try to demonize us. Bear false witness against us. Come up against us. Persecute us, man. All these things. Might have to uh, put your, your head, your neck on a guillotine. Whatever it is that this that we have to go through, man, we got to go through it with integrity. All right. It says that ye may be tried and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful. That's the key word right there, man. Faithful. Be thou faithful unto death and I will give thee a crown of life. See? So we have to remain faithful until the end. And that's when the Lord is going to give us that crown of life. All right. Beautiful, man. All right. Uh, that's pretty much it. I ended... Mm. <clears throat> Ended with this in Acts. Acts fourteen. And twenty two. Yeah, we're gonna read Acts fourteen to twenty two. Yeah, cause the point the point is made, you know. Got to keep our faith until the end. So hey, don't be deceived with these churches, man. That that got you, what they tell you to say this prayer and you're saved, and then that's it. But then whole time, you still smoking cigarettes, still smoking weed. Still eating pork, still committing adultery, having, you know, you you wasn't truly baptized, you know, which is with this word. All right. Not dipping yourself in some water or not just saying, oh, I'm saved. You know, imagine me. I'm having a party and it's invitations, invitation only, man. All right. If you don't get an invitation, you're not invited to the party. But here it is, somebody might not got an invitation, but they they think since they know me, they they obligated to, to come to the party because they, they think they know me. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't invite you to the party, man. But here it is, you come knocking on the door. You wasn't invited. You're, you know, you can't come in. You can't come in through that door. <laughs> you know, and that door being your how was shy, man. Your how was shy hey, is that door. That allows those that's meant to come in to come in and ones that's meant to stay out to stay out, man. All right. Hey, this is an invitation only, man, which is the Lord is inviting the elect on this side to come in and, and to, to reap the, 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 the first fruits. All right. Which we pray and hope that we be a part of. All right. But uh, what was I about to get? Oh uh, yeah, get this uh, Acts fourteen and twenty two. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples, and exhorting them to continue in the faith. We have to continue in the faith, not discontinue. We can't stop having faith. We can't be overcome by uh, doubt. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we have to continue in these things. You know? No turning back. You know? Got to keep our eyes on the prize. Keep trusting in the Lord. 
in the time of trouble. No matter how bad it get, how ugly it get, how impossible it might look, you know, we have to um, continue in the faith. It says, and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the most high power. We must. All right. It says we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high power. So showing you that it's not going to be easy. Once again, man, our faith is going to be tested. All right. And the Lord is making a separation to those that are faithful and those that are not. All right. And it is all about the show, man. It's all about the everything's about to come out. Everything is is about to be revealed. All right. Everything, man. <laughs> the real from the fake. From those that were sincere and those that wasn't. It's all about to come out, man. All right. So we got to continue in, in, in what we've been taught. You know, that true doctrine. All right. Uh, let's get one more in Hebrews six. Uh, I'll start Hebrews six and ten. It says, "For the Most High Power is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed towards His name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister." And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. All right. Until the end. <laughs> yeah. So nobody's saved right now, man. These churches got you thinking y'all saved and they don't even know what's about to come, man. They don't, they don't even, they don't even know that we're in the midst of World War Three, or the with the RFID. Some of them do, but hey, the, the main thing, main focus in these churches is prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Love everybody and and all they doing and just fall around in the church dancing and and and, and passing the that 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 uh the tight uh you know the offering the you know Receiving tights every other every after every three or four songs and stuff like that, man. But anyway, uh, it says that ye be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. And that's what we want to do, man. And we have we want to inherit the promise that the Lord promised unto us. So we have to go through through these things, man, holding fast uh, to our faith. You know what the scripture say, uh, the, the seed uh, of a mustard of uh, faith. You got faith of a seed uh, of a mustard seed. You can move mountains, man. You know. And, and that's what the Lord is pleased in us being faithful in him. All right. Uh. I read down to verse 15. That's what I wanted to read, the point in 15. But read knowing it says, For when the Most High made promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no greater, he swear by himself, saying, Surely, blessing, I will bless thee and multiply, and multiplying, I will multiply thee. And so after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Once again, we have to patiently endure if we want to obtain the promise that the Lord has, has given unto us, man. And this is an example, man. Uh, uh, this is an example of Abraham enduring unto the end, keeping his faith until the end, no matter how bad it looked or how impossible it looked. Hey, he kept his faith in the Lord, man. And it's the same with us, man. It's going to get bad. It's going to get ugly. All right. But the Lord is going to fight for us, man. 
so hey, no worries, man. We just gotta go through it to get to it. And we almost there, man. We almost there where the Lord is about to visit this place, which he already is visited, visiting this place, man. It's beautiful that he's visiting this place with, 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 with hurricanes and earthquakes and fires and uh, wars and rumors of war. You know what I'm saying? The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, all these things, man, the Lord is bringing to this place he's bringing his wrath unto this place man and rightfully so because this place is wicked as all hell and need to be destroyed it need to be burnt down man so the lord can establish his kingdom here on earth man all right but uh yeah that's pretty much it um i have another scripture uh uh yeah the point is made pretty much you know lord willing this was edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem rakakadash double honors to the apostles at great millstone who rule well salutations to all you akims out there that's pushing his word in truth sincerity and always in charity rakadam akiyam to you sincere brothers to you sincere sisters we almost out this hell hole let's keep on with uh pushing and endure to the end. Shalom.